What we are focusing on though, and I'm just gonna make sure we're on global here, is the address pools, because this is the important part. So from a SDA standpoint, you need to have a global pool, right? Your global pool is what you're going to reserve smaller pools from. Now, depending on how big your network is, you may do a 10 slash eight, you may do a 172.16 slash 12. Rarely are you going to see somebody do a 192.168 slash 24 because you don't have enough pools or enough IP addresses to make pools from. So for the most part, you'd probably be safer just going with the 10 slash 8 pool as long as you don't have any kind of overlapping outside of the fabric issues because you don't want routing issues going there. Um, but let's just say this is Greenfield, which SDA is the best for. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, it's great for Brownfield. Yeah, in theory it is, but not in practicality. That, that rarely works in, in real life. Most of the time, you're going to see SDA work wonders in Greenfield deployments. Always remember that. So we have our global pool. It's a generic pool, nothing crazy. Now, you're going to take this global pool, and when we go down to the site that we're actually going to do SDA for, we are going to now reserve pools from that global pool. And as you can see, all of these pools were, revert, were reserved out of that 10 block. So we have our land automation pool. This is if you want to do land automation. I suggest you do it in Greenfield deployments, but to each his own. This is for the underlay network, right? To build the underlay network. Then you have your multicast pools, which are going to be used if you want to enable multicast in like a VN or something like that or for services. Normally, you're going to do that. And then you have your transit pool, which is between your fusion router and the border gateway, or the border, not border gateway, or border control plane, though, or the border node, if you didn't combine those two together. And then you have your individual VN pools, right? Do you remember, VNs are technically VRFs, but they're going to be in a separate routing table, and you need to have your pools from there, okay? So if you look at one of these pools, you will see it's a generic pool. We're pulling it from the global pool. We're giving it this gateway. So this is going to be your AnyCast gateway for your, you know, downstream or your fabric edge nodes. Everybody's going to point to this. And VMO or workspace mobility doesn't really matter. They'll have the same MAC address. So your L2 to L3 binding won't be messed up here. So you can move stuff around and don't have to worry about the ARP having to cash out before. It gets the right, you know, IP address to L2 mapping. 